Hello there my fellow fans, today's installment. Now that the games are over, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle return to California to face new struggles. The royal couple spent one week in Germany watching veterans who have overcome formidable obstacles in a war and life to be present for their countries, teams and families at the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf 2023. At the closing ceremony on Saturday, Harry wiped away tears as he paid tribute to the wounded veterans in a lengthy speech. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have now returned to their California mansion to face the brutal reality of their uncertain professional lives. Harry is working on a documentary that will be filmed in Africa, while Meghan has her heart set on relaunching her popular Instagram account and website The Tig. However, their biggest and most lucrative deal is tied to Netflix and it seems that it might be in limbo by no fault of their own. According to one royal expert, Prince Harry and Markle are at risk of seeing their massive $100 million contract terminated sooner because of the crown. Prince Harry and Markle are expected to end their deal with the streaming giant in 2025, but Richard Fitzwilliam said that it could be terminated sooner once their biggest royal series has ended. The final season of The Crown will air in 2023. Fitzwilliams explained that the streaming giant might be pushed to wrap the projects they have with Prince Harry and Markle at the same time the final season of The Crown airs. All is riding on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming romantic movie, Meet Me at the Lake, based on the novel by the same name. Prince Harry attempted but failed to put his deal with Netflix on solid footing with the release of his Heart of Invictus documentary. The author added, a good deal depends on how successfully they adapt the romantic novel, Meet Me at the Lake. Although it contained courageous stories, Harry's recent docu-series for Netflix, Heart of Invictus, has not been the hit that was hoped, almost certainly due to its excessive five-hour length. Prince Harry has been getting very emotional in his speech on Saturday night, and some are wondering if the mountain of uncertainty, stress, and expectations that await him in California was not the reason for the tears. What do you guys think of that? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe for more royal news.